Hello everyone, welcome to Tesla channel. In today's video, I am at a charge point uh, charging location. This is a level two charger. Uh, this is at uh, University of Houston. Uh, they have the charging facility available. As you see, there are a lot of chargers here. I think about 20 or 30 charging stations. Um, and uh, so that whenever you're parked here in the garage, you can get your car charged up and each charging spot has two connectors as you see you can pull that out by pressing the button at the back and to charge your tesla you need the j1772 adapter as you see you can it usually comes included you can also find it at tesla's website the connector goes at the back as you see and uh, that's the part which plugs into your tesla to fit the connector you align up the adapter and uh, you know you can plug the adapter in front of the connector and push it to fit it in place and then to plug it into your Tesla you can press the charge port and then it'll open up and you just uh, plug it in and once it's plugged in you'll see uh, the charger that the charging has started and then it'll show you at what rate it's charging at uh, so let me take you inside and show you how the charge stats looks like so now on the screen you can see it's charging at uh, 21 amps and 4 kilowatt hours are being added and the current state is 72 percent time remaining is 1 hour 55 minutes if i change the limit to uh, say about 100 you should see the charging time uh, update and then now 5 hour 25 minutes are remaining the current charge is set to 21 amps. I wanted to slow down the charging a bit, uh, but you can always set it to the max. And then in this case, it's 30 amps. And if you change uh, your speed to 30 amps, you'll see uh, the charging speed will increase and it's charging at a higher rate now, six kilowatt hours. And then the time remaining change from five hours to about four hours. So depending on the charging setup, uh, you'll see uh, pretty much all the status there, uh, at what rate it's charging. And this is level two. So uh, to add about 25% of charge, you're taking about four hours. With the level one, it would have probably taken the whole day. So level two is definitely convenient and more faster. And if you have this uh, facility somewhere, definitely make use of it. Also, once you start charging, if you have the charge point app installed, you can pull it up and then track the status of your charging. Like you see here, it shows the number of kilowatt hours added, which is like 0 0.10 for now. Also, the charger I'm currently at is a free charger, as you see. And if there was a cost for charging uh, the charger you're charging, you'll see uh, uh, the cost that's you know you've accumulated till till now as well. Uh, and you can track the estimated time remaining for the amount of charge you uh, you've set, the limit you've set, and pretty much all the details that are needed. You can also stop the uh, charging from here and control all that as well. So if I go back one screen, you'll see the location I'm at and it usually brings up the charging, uh, one of the charging uh, spots uh, when you first pull up to the charger and uh, if you click on the list view, it'll show all the available chargers at that spot. So it, it's a numbered uh, list and uh, to start your charging, you'll have to actually look up the charger spot you're at by the number it shows, and then uh, you'll have to select that and then press charging. So if you notice, there are all these available chargers which are marked with the green bubble, but the blue one is uh, actually the charger I'm currently plugged in at, which is the uh, Garage 6 and ST4 charger. So if you click on the current uh, charger that I'm at and then you'll go back to the screen where you can track all your charging start or stop. If you click on anything else, it will show you the available charges. So each charger has two, uh, you know, options. So it'll show both as available. Sometimes when you pull up to the charger, it might be locked in place, the charger heads. So you'll have to open up the app, select the, uh, the charger you're at and then say start charging and then the charger will be unlocked and you'll be able to plug it in and start charging so the charging app is really convenient and very well designed with charge uh, point uh, similarly if you're at a different provider you'll have similar such apps that you'll have to install and uh, uh, you know for you to make use of it 
So for example, you can use Electrify America or Bling Chargers and they have their own apps which look similar to ChargePoint's app and then uh, you can control your charging setup from there and you know get charged. So that's kind of the brief overview of level 2 charges and if you go to any other it will be pretty similar. Hope you like this video and I'll see you next one. Bye.